Yo, what to do, YouTube? It's your boy Marcus. We're back with another video. And today, we're going to try to figure out what coach player will make the biggest impact next year. Now, this could be a toss up. I know a few people will probably have the same opinion, but you know, this is a self opinionated video here. So, we're going to choose uh, maybe one person uh, in general, offense and defense included. So, for me personally, I kind of have a tie when it comes to this situation because there's two players that could have the biggest impact going into next year. One personally, my favorite would probably be Marley Cox. Uh, tight end, he's tall, versatile, he's good on blocking, and he can really, you know, be that guy to be the difference maker for the offense going into next season. Now, I was, I could have used Quiddy Pay, for example. I could have used him, but we know the edge rush is an important piece, and he's gonna be definitely elevating that position going into next year due to what we went through in the last year. So I could have used that, but I've known that the defense bails out the offense pretty much every other game, but the defense is gassed. And why? It's due to the production of the offense. So I'm gonna go with an offensive guy to try to be the one that has the biggest impact going into next year. So for me personally, I would say Marley Cox. The other person I was going to say was Paris Campbell. Now, some of you are probably wondering, why didn't you mention Jonathan Taylor or why didn't you mention Michael Pittman Jr.? I didn't mention those two because those two will probably be targeted more than the other people I just named. When it comes to Paris Campbell, you got a guy like T.Y. Hilton who's probably going to get double teamed on, on certain plays. You got a guy like Michael Pittman Jr. who's going to be watched or shadowed. And when you put Paris Campbell in that mix, for like a jet sweep or a underneath pass or a slant or a quick or like a quick wide receiver screen, Paris Campbell's gonna be that guy and you're gonna he's gonna be the threat that can pretty much take the top off the offense when it's not the go to guys. I feel like he could be that person that could really have an impact on the offense going into next season and he can pretty much get us some yards or maybe spot us a touchdown every now and then. He can really be that go to person. Uh, like I said, him or Marley Cox. Marley Cox can definitely be a versatile tight end. You know, Carson Wentz in the tight end core that he had in Philly when they went on that run, and he had that MVP-like season before he went down. The tight ends was very formidable for him. He was the, those go-to guys. Now, of course, we're still talking about the Colts and Zach Ertz and all this news, but pretty much Zach Ertz is pretty much stuck in Philly at this moment because we don't know what's going on over there, so... Marley Cox could be his new Zach Ertz. He can be that new person for him. Like I say, he can definitely do it. He has the potential. He's tall enough. He can catch the football. He's good, he's good at blocking if it comes to running. Like, Marley Cox could be that person if it's not Paris Campbell. So, it could be, it's a 50-50 toss-up for me between those two guys. Uh, I could have said Marlon Mack. I could have used him. But, you know, I don't know how his time's going to be when it comes to uh, seeing the field. So, I couldn't use him, so I choose Marty Cox or Paris Campbell. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Who, Which player, offense or defense, your choice only, which player do you think will have the biggest impact going into next season? Yes, you can use Pay, and I understand that because I could have used him as well, but I was looking from the offensive perspective because the offense needs to have, needs to have an upgrade. Yeah, it has to have an upgrade from last year. They did better at the end of the year, but... At the beginning, it was rough. It was rough. So I choose the offensive person. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And until next time, you've been Culture Shock.